tips for a quick day to night beauty routine is owner of Erin's Faces, Erin Williams. Welcome to you both. Thanks, Ms. Nitika. Erin, is there anything that she can do in the morning to make her transition from day to night a little easier? Absolutely. Okay. Um, there's a few key things that I'm really into in the morning routine. Yes. Uh, the first one is doing an eye gel that uh -huh. has witch hazel in it. Okay. Because it's going to tighten and depuff the eye, wow. which helps us out all day long, which okay. is really, really great. Um, and it also helps your concealer not get crunchy, mm -hmm. like eye creams, which are really emollient, can do. And then it's all about primers. So okay. an eye primer okay. uh, that's really good. Is gonna that what we have here? The little purple guy. Oh, okay, great. So we have an eye, eye primer. Got it. And that's great if you get midday, uh, 5 o'clock, and your eyeshadow is creasing. Yes. Or you, it's gone, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. This will help it stay all day. And then if you're bumping up to a smoky eye in the evening, it's easier because, because you've got not, that okay. even canvas that's not oily and right. hard to work with other things on top of, Perfect. which we'll that's totally do in a little bit. Oh, that's exactly that. what I mean. Um, I love that. And then face primer kind of is the same concept. Like if you're like, oh, I spent all this time putting my foundation on, and now it's totally gone and it's lunch. Mm -hmm. This is totally going to hook you up. You put it on. It targets different skin types. There's oh, some that great. target a drier skin, some a more acne skin. So kind of look around and see what's best for you. Right. And you do it all over your face. You do want a different one for eye. Okay. I found they don't work the same way, yeah. so don't do that. <laughs> um, and then if you do, if you find that you're using a pencil eyeliner and it's kind of moving down your face through the day, uh, the cream eyeliners are really going to be good oh, because great. they, the gel kind of pot creamy guys, will not move. Oh, and great. if you're in a hurry, they're, they're great. They're easy to kind of put on with Super your fingers easy. maybe or something like that. Okay. I would like a brush, but okay, if you're I in know, a really big hurry, hurry, I'm trying can, to look out for yes, you, girl. You All can, right, you can so roll. Courtney, does this sound like she's speaking a foreign language, or how do you feel yeah. about what she's I saying? I feel great about what she's saying. Oh, it's good. exactly what I need. One of the biggest problems I have is I constantly have to reapply makeup throughout the day because yes. it's always running, and I just, that. by the end of the day, look like I have raccoon eyes so yes which is so common so what are your tips for like the five essential things that every woman should have in their bag Aaron, for like me. to take for yeah night for time. day to night so I'm and a big that fan right here. they have a lovely little baggie yes and this little guy can also come and live over here too uh, if you have literally 30 seconds and you mm -hmm. just need to touch up day to night if you take the cream eyeliner and go on the inside rim of the eyes up and under that's going to make you look more evening immediately. Okay, great. So he lives at home and in the back. Okay. <laughs> great. So then a just really scary, dark-looking eyeshadow color. Okay. Just one color. Um, depending on your skin tone, you can go a little deeper or a little lighter. Okay. But we're going to do it on Courtney, and we're actually going to do it on Caroline, too. Just showing you how you just need one color to go on top of the like champagne-y skin tone color that you've sure. already got for okay, day great. for so work. Just a little layering. Okay, does that sound yeah. like something you can handle? Yes. We can do All it. All right, Courtney, we're, we're doing well wait. so far. Good. And then if you're feeling super adventurous on the eyes, you can rock a little bit of a um, fake lash. Mm -hmm. I really like, these are from the drugstore. Um, a half lash is great because they're easier to put on than a full lash. It's not hard. Full yes. lashes can be a little intimidating. Okay. So we're going to do that. A little shimmer is great if you do it here, uh -huh. under the brow, and um, on the inner corners of the eye. Okay. That's something that can pop you. And then a little concealer because we tend to get a little tired. Wonderful. So, Courtney, what's your current routine when you're at the office and then you're going to a, day, to a night event? What do you usually do currently? Well, right now I have a ton of products in my work bag, <laughs> okay. and when I'm ready to leave the office and go meet a client for dinner or meet mm -hmm. some friends for drinks, yeah. I just run to the bathroom and, you know, apply, try to do my own smoky eye look. Yeah. It never really comes out the way I want it to. Mm -hmm. uh, put on some dark eyeliner and maybe some dark lipstick. Okay. Well... We're going to try to simplify help. that for you a little <laughs> bit, and we're going to be using organic makeup too, right? Or you use organic makeup for a lot of these tips. Is a that lot correct? of mineral makeup, yeah. Right. It's it's. I like it because it's healthy for your skin and it's healthy for the environment, and we're not, you know, using a lot of petroleum products. That's wonderful. Well, Courtney, I know you want to learn about the smoky eye, and we have natural beauty here, Caroline, who coincidentally is one of my producers. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yay. And for, and then Erin's going to demo on her. So why don't you show us what you've got going on with Caroline? So a scary thing with working with a darker color is if you've got your skin looking good, um, you don't want to mess it up and have to start all over again. So if you take a Kleenex and just fold it in four, um, 
And I'm going to have you look up at the sky and then close. So that's going to catch any of the dark stuff that's going to fall down. Oh, great. So we're going to use tip. the other big thing with doing a smoky eye for me is you want to have a putter on or brush. It's my very official terminology. There you go. Okay, make sure you take some mental notes, yeah. Courtney. Okay. <laughs> putter on or brush. Now. And then you want an empty blending brush. So okay. this brush has had no pigment in it. Okay. Because otherwise it's really hard to do. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> and we're keeping, you can see on this eye, we're keeping this portion very light and open. Mm -hmm. This is the color she came to work in. We have it and she has her liner on. And this looks a little scary, but now we're gonna take the blender side. Oh, okay. And just soften that line. Okay, great. That's already looking very beautiful. Thanks. That's great. So, Erin, while you're doing that, what are some tips to help streamline the day-to-night process? Well, I think if you, you... I'm not a big fan of putting foundation on top, open for me, of foundation. Okay. Uh, I think if you do the primers, if you do the setup in the morning, yeah. you are helping yourself out tremendously. Okay, that's Time -wise great. Time-wise and um, energy-wise and, and product-wise. just, like, wise. protecting your face and yeah, not doing Yeah, you're not doing, doing more stuff on yeah. oily skin and... Look up for me. So the other thing you can do, we were talking about this a second ago, is using the gel eyeliner and um, going into the waterline. Great. Caroline, how does it feel to be on the other side of the camera? It feels great. Oh, my good. <laughs> I'm excited. I love good, it. Good, 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 good. You look beautiful. So we're just doing that. <laughs> and Kleenex is your friend. And then Kleenex this is, is our friend. Good. Big friend. And then this is a little harsh. We have this on the top and on the waterline, but I'm just going to do a little bit of the dark eyeshadow underneath just to kind of okay, round great. it up. And while you're doing that, Erin, what is one of your biggest don'ts that you want to tell our beauties about from doing this look from day to night? The brush. I think if, really? you, use, if you use a brush to put on that color yes. and then try and blend with it, it's, it's going to be a gonna disaster. It's going to be a mess. You're going to be right, so annoyed in the bathroom. That. Okay. Okay. I will not do that. <laughs> okay. Anymore. Yeah. And she's done. And that took wow. like a minute and a half. Yeah. Maybe? That, and know. you were talking and you were multitasking at yeah. the same time. So I think that, and we did one. So I mean, you, you have two eyes. So yeah. you either get both of them accomplished. <laughs> so double it. But still, but it was very, yeah, very it's doable. Quick. And she had everything on. She had her top liner from the morning and her champagne color all over. So all we did I was liner that. here, here, and a little color. Little bit. Two little things. Uh, yeah, two, great. three little things that you look gorgeous. Is it possible to overdo your nighttime makeup? I think it depends on who you are. Yeah. I think that um, if, if for Courtney, I think if she, that's one thing. I think that if you do black all the way inside, all into here, that can be a little serious if that's not your vibe. I think it depends on what your vibe is. Yeah. And if you're someone that rocks a smoky eye at 12 o'clock noon, then you can put some glitter on it at night mm -hmm. and it won't be weird. So I think it's what you, what feels organic to yeah. you is what's going to be best. And yes. you need to feel pretty and I comfortable. I am such a believer in that. Thank you, Courtney. Earlier in the show, we sent our natural beauty of the day, Courtney, to our beauty corner to transform her end of daytime drab into nighttime fab with a little help from makeup artist Erin Williams and hairstylist Hallie Bavona. Here is what Courtney looked like before. And here is what she looks like now. You look amazing. Yay. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have to take you in. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. Do you feel ready to go out? I can't wait to go out. Right? <laughs> What's your favorite part about the whole look? I love the hair, the makeup. I really, I just love it all. Really? Okay, so what are the top must-haves that people can take away from this whole experience, Erin, from day to night? totally what we were doing earlier. We literally just threw a little dark shadow in the corner, lined inner rim. We did throw some lashes on Courtney, bumped up her blush, and did the shimmer that we were talking about on the cheek, mm -hmm. and that's it. It's amazing. Yeah. It's really gorgeous. And I have to say, like, I could see someone layering this. Like, she exactly. started with something super simple, and then just a little extra mm -hmm. brings it up a notch. And, Allie, can you tell us what we did? Can I just turn you around? We'll do a sure. little swivel here to see the back of your hair. And what did you do for the her braid is well, like insane. What we have here is a waterfall braid that I doubled up to create a little more of an intricate look for yes. the evening. Okay. Um, she had her hair up in a ponytail with a bit of curl to it. So I figured take it out, shake it up, and yeah. just put a couple braids into it and you this go great. great from day to night. You look gorgeous. Do you feel like a <laughs> million dollars? I, I do. I feel great. I hope you go somewhere fabulous after this. I, I have really to. do. I, I know, will. Right? We all want to go out. <laughs>
Well, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you to all my guests today. I'm Nitika Chopra, and until next time, stay naturally beautiful.